Hi, boys and girls, and welcome back to SLAM. This is week two of our message series called Jesus Said What? In the gospel readings this month, we're hearing some of Jesus' best known parables. And a parable is simply a story meant to teach people about faith. And when Jesus used parables, he used them to show who God is, what God's kingdom looks like, and how his followers, us, should act. So the parable that we heard today in our gospel is called the sower and the seed. A farmer went out to sow his seed. As he scattered the seed, some fell on a hard path nearby and the birds came and they ate it up. As the farmer continued to plant other seeds, some of them fell on soil that was full of rocks. There was not much dirt around the rocks, so the seed started to sprout the very next day. The only problem was there was little dirt, so the plants, they didn't put down a lot of roots, which couldn't help them become strong and healthy. In the afternoon, the sun was very hot, so the plants had started to grow in the rocky soil. They withered and they died because they had no roots in the ground. Some of the other seeds fell on soil that had been taken over with weeds and thorns. And the weeds and the thorns, they grew faster than the smaller plants from the seeds. So they choked those plants so that that the sower wanted to grow. Finally, some of the seed fell on good soil that had been plowed and fertilized and weeded and would make a great place for seeds to grow. Those seeds made healthy plants and they produced really good fruit. This is the lesson that Jesus wanted his disciples to learn. 
And it's also the lesson that he wants us to learn today. The seed that the sower was planting in the story represents the teaching of God's word. Our heart represents the soil where the sower planted the seeds. If our heart is filled with anger and bitterness, the teaching falls on hard ground and it's never going to grow. There are times when we hear the word and we get excited about it, but then our excitement fades away because our understanding isn't clear enough. We may be excited, but we don't really get it. So our excitement kind of fades away. Sometimes when we hear the word, we believe what it says and we want to keep doing the same things we've been doing. And that's like planting the seeds with a bunch of weeds. And I'm sure you can guess what happens. The weeds will soon take over, just like in our parable. The last seed is the best. It falls on good ground. If we learn from what we hear at home and church, at school, from our friends, from our gospel, from what we read in the Bible, the seed that Jesus plants in our hearts will continue to grow. Our life will produce good fruit just like Jesus wants, just like he intended. You will be helping others to grow in their knowledge and understanding of God's love. This week, let's ask God to help us be like the good soil in our parable today. Help us to listen to your word and grow up to be the kind of boys and girls that you want us to be, that he wants us to be. Thank you for listening and being here today. Um, I hope you're having a great summer and I'll see you again next week. Bye.